Hi, this is Todd Steinkamp, owner and general manager of Trending Media. And this fall, we are proud to officially launch Marshalltown Bobcat Athletics on KFJB TV. You heard right. Not only can you listen to Bobcat Athletics on your radio at 12.30 KFJB AM and 93.9 FM like you always have, but now you'll be able to watch every home and away football, basketball, baseball, and softball game we carry on KFJB TV at 1230kfjb.com, among other platforms. This has literally been in the works for 100 years. Why? Because it was in 1922 that KFJB aired the first ever live play-by-play -play broadcast of Bobcat football at Franklin Field in Marshalltown. It was not only the first Marshalltown Bobcat football game aired, it was the first ever sporting event aired live on the radio. It all started 100 years ago this fall, and a century later, your business can be a part of these historic broadcasts. Be a part of supporting these local athletes. Be a part of supporting Marshalltown Community School District. Be a part of your local community. As we prepare for the official launch of KFJB TV, I want to give you just a basic idea of what you'll see and hear. As we begin the second quarter of play, Drake Polly will take a three left wing, got the feed from Drake Capayu and count the bucket, it's good. Bobcats on offense, Griesel gets a feed quickly down low to the right block, great move by Prince Jala. Capayu and Thomas trade positions, Capayu gets the three, far side quarter, his third made three of the game. It is Capayu, Polly, as well as Houston, Griesel and Eisenbart, the five on the floor for the Cats here tonight behind the leadership of Brynjir Brynjensen, who's filling in for head coach Michael Apple. Quarter pocket three, far side is good by Aris Eisenbart. Inbounds is misplayed. Dalen Houston's going to come up with it, takes it on a fast break. Dunk. It's good for Dalen Houston, who has 10 in the game. That kid can play basketball. I am so excited to see his growth. Armani cuts down the paint. Kicks out, wide open three, it's good as it rattles in for Drake Capayu, his fourth three of the night. One thing that Tom was doing in the second half is they are much more aggressive on the wings with their 2-3 zone. So once you're able to get penetration, wide open passing lanes to Capayu. Capayu on a two-on-one, gives to Armani, uses the glass, it's good. Armani with 11 points in the game, and a timeout's going to be called by Neil Hartz and the Atumwa Bulldogs. And we'll take a timeout with them. This is Bobcat Basketball on News Talk 1230 KFJB AM and 93.9 FM. In this day and age, you need to make sure that your business is being heard and seen locally because local advertising means local clients for your local business. Good thing that we here at KFJB have you covered. Your marketing message will be heard on the radio at 1230 KFJB AM at 93.9 FM and also streamed live at 1230 KFJB.com. But not only is your message heard by thousands of listeners on the radio, now it will be seen on KFJB TV, just like you are seeing this right now. KFJB. We are your home for Marshalltown Bobcat Athletics. Things heating up inside the Roundhouse tonight it's on News Talk 1230, KJBAM 93.9 FM. I'm Brandon Lewis, Dylan Doe's alongside me. Bobcat basketball is all brought to you tonight by Sports Plus, Sports Medicine, and Physical Therapy Center. Assured Partners, formerly Independent Insurance Services, Lennox Employees Credit Union in Marshalltown, and Wells Fargo Advisors, located at 14 East Southridge Road in Marshalltown. Your business will be recognized as a sports club sponsor. You'll have your audio message heard on 1230 KFJB AM, 93.9 FM, and at 1230KFJB.com. Plus, now everyone will be able to see your message during Bobcat Athletics on KFJB TV. We are thrilled to have Brandon Lewis as the voice of your Marshalltown Bobcats. Alongside him is Dylan Dose. Brandon and Dylan have been recognized and awarded as one of the top play-by-play -play teams in the entire state of Iowa. We are excited for the debut of KFJB TV this fall, and we want you as a local business and member of our community to be a part of this historic launch on KFJB TV.